Hey everyone, this is Z from SUI Foundation. In this video, we will learn about how to use the SUI Client PTB CLI. PTB stands for Programmable Transaction Block. It allows us to change blockchain states. It's also a way to execute a sequence of blockchain calls atomically. For example, if we have two blockchain calls, new sword and transfer objects, any failure from one of the calls will render the entire batch invalid. You can already build PTBs from existing SUI SDKs, but PTB CLI allows you to interact with your package with almost no code. Here I have an existing package from following our first dApp tutorial. You can follow the tutorial here at docs.sui.io. I'm also going to link the page in the description below. Towards the end of the tutorial, the tutorial will ask you to add a new sword function that will allow us to use the forge object as an input along with some other parameters to create a sword object. Once you've finished adding the new sword function, you can proceed to publish your package. So my package has successfully deployed. You can see I have a package ID as a result of the successful deployment, as well as some other SUI objects. Upgrade capability is irrelevant here, but forge is obtained as a result of contract initialization and some gas coin that we use to pay for gas fees. Now let's interact with the package with the PTB CLI instead of writing any code. You can find the CLI command under publish a package section of the tutorial. So I'm just going to copy this and update some values here. So I just updated my values here, and I can explain a bit what the CLI is doing here. The dash dash assign flag assigns a value to a variable. In this case, the forge ID to a forge variable. Same thing happens for the to address variable. The move call flag allows us to call any function from any package. In this case, we're calling the new sword function that we talked about earlier. Keep in mind that the new sword function produces a sword object as a result. In this case, we can then assign that result to the sword variable here. We then transfer the sword to an address that we have assigned to earlier. What should we expect from executing this command? Well, it would be the same as if you wrote code using one of the existing SUI SDKs. Let's execute this command and see if that's true. We have a successful execution. Let's take a look at the objects that we have under our address. And we see four objects under our address. Let's take a look. And there it is. We just got ourselves a shiny new sword. So how cool is that? We just modified the blockchain state without using any code. Isn't that amazing? You can learn more about the client ptb ci at docs.sui.io slash references once you're on the page click on sui client ptb ci to learn more about all the details thanks for watching that's all i have for you today if you have any questions feel free to leave us a comment below and i will see y'all next time